Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and I am back to making some videos here. Don't worry, I haven't stopped mining, I haven't stopped doing my stuff here. I've been expanding as usual, as you can tell here. I had to move out to the living room in my apartment here to kind of get better airflow, keep things a lot cooler, keep things running smoother. But I just kind of want to do a quick update on what I'm mining, what I'm running, all of my new rigs. And I want to go over my Hive OS and kind of show you guys where I'm at. I want to start getting more tutorials out there. I just kind of took a break just due to the fact of just kind of focusing on life and enjoying that. I know I said in my past few videos I was going to come back and kind of make a return. But now I'm kind of locked in and confident with that. I want to start doing more tutorials again. I want to go through my channel and do some updated tutorials. Because I've been getting comments on some of my videos that things aren't working anymore. Pools have changed. Algorithms have changed. DAG sizes have changed. So that way only certain coins can be mined by certain gigabytes of cards. There's been a lot of change. And obviously mining isn't as prominent as it used to be. I still find it's prominent. I still find it enjoyable. I still mine myself. Whether you want to say it's profitable or not in the comments, it all comes down to your situation and what you believe in for crypto and your hydro prices. There's a lot of different factors, but I'm just a tech guy in general, so I just enjoy doing this regardless of if it's profitable or not. But it is profitable for me just having cheaper hydro here in Ontario, Canada here, where I exactly am. But yeah, we're just going to go over my rigs here and then we'll jump over my Hive OS so you guys can see what I'm mining and what I have set up and going. We'll start over here. This is one of my new rigs I got. This is all 8 gigabyte cards. They're all AMD, so they're all RX 580s. It's nothing crazy. I got this whole setup, so this was all pre-set up. I got that for, I think it was like two or $300. It came with two monitors. It came with some uh, hard drives. It came with a server computer as well. The more of like a CPU miner, if you will. So I got a pretty good deal on that. Someone posted on Facebook and they just wanted to get rid of it because they were just done with mining. They kind of got screwed with their setup and stuff like that. But then I got it and it's working fine. These are all eight gigabyte RX 580s and they've been consistently running, no issues with those. I like the little RGB there with the fans. So yeah, like I said, I kind of been expanding. And as you guys know here, I have this one. This one is running. I have all of the P106 100s in there. So nothing too crazy. They're just six gigabyte variants, but this box has been working really well. I got it for under a hundred dollars on eBay and it came with all the fans, all the motherboard, everything set up. I just, and also a power supply, but I had to throw a different one in just due to the voltage difference and where I'm at. Obviously I can't run the 240 or whatever, 220 volt here. I just stick to the standard, uh, was it 120, 140 or something like that. Just your standard outlet. And then you come over here, and then this is another NVIDIA P106-100 rig. And then I have a 1660 on it as well. But I see it's all running. It's been running well. And then down here, like you guys seen this rig before. And then down here, I kind of have it hiding. This is just my little basic 4 gigabyte rig. This is an 8 gigabyte card here. I see one of the fans are kind of broke. I got to fix that. But the rest are 4 gigabyte variants. Uh, this is, I believe, uh, what is it, RX 470 or 570, 4 gigabyte, and these three are 470s, and this is a 580 as well, and yeah, this is just a smaller setup, I just figured to continue to run it as well, and all together I'm using about, I think it's about 1500 watts of power, so nothing too crazy, I'll, we'll go over that on my Hive OS, and then this is just another rig I have ready to go whenever I do get more cards. And if you're wondering how I'm running all this, just being in an apartment, you guys are probably wondering like wattage wise and stuff like that. I have it running, as you see, an extension cable, the orange one, it runs to my second bedroom to pull off a separate breaker. And then this one runs off of here, as you can see down there, right that there, and that plugs into the wall to run off this breaker. And if I have to, I'll run the extension cable to my kitchen and pull off of that breaker. Luckily, it's all broken up around my apartment, so it makes it a lot easier. And then as we see for my setup here, I just have a nice box fan pulling in all this cool air, all this nice air. Keeps it nice and cool out here for my rigs. They maybe get just above 55 degrees for my GPUs. Most of the time they stay around like 40 degrees, if not a little cooler. So that's nice, I'll open this straight up if need be. And then here's just a bunch of ASICs that I don't have running, obviously, because they consume a lot of power. I've been slowly selling off my S9s here. I had about four or five. I sold a couple of them. I got three left there. 
just due to the fact of I can't run them on the voltage I have, but I still have my L3 here, and I got another L3 in there. I run them from time to time. It'd be nice to get a proper setup so I can go ahead and run them. But yeah, overall, like I said, it's a little noisy, but it's nothing. I've had no complaints or anything being in the apartment here, and everything's been running smoothly, stays nice and cool. I have another fan there that just kind of circulates this air as it's pulling in from my patio. I know people usually say, you know, you got to get rid of the hot air, but I find having this fan pull in the cool air, it runs a lot better and keeps things a lot more cooler than trying to pull the air out because this all just cycles. I have, it's a very open area in my living room here, so the airflow is just phenomenal. But yeah, overall, like I said, I got one, two, three, four rigs now. I have about 25 or so graphics cards. So it's nothing like crazy, but still, like I said, it's just a hobby of mine. I just like to go ahead and like the technology. I support crypto. And right now I am mining Flux and Zealous. So my, I believe my AMD rigs are running on the Flux and then Zealous is running on my NVIDIA because I haven't had too much luck running uh, Zealous on my AMD rigs. So I just figured to kind of break it up. I had them all running on Flux as one because I believe Flux might actually do something in the future. There's a lot of technology behind it. And like I said before, Zealous itself is kind of like a new version of Ergo and I feel like in a way it could replace it. Ergo has kind of went up in DAG size as well, so I'm not able to mine it with all my rigs like I used to be able to. Zealous and Flux, you can Flux you can always mine on four gigabyte. I believe Flux doesn't have a DAG size because they want to have fair mining with like GPUs and everything. And Zealous, I don't believe has DAG size either, so it should always be mineable with like four gigabyte and higher because the four gigabytes aren't as prominent for mining right now, just due to the fact that there's not a lot of coins you're able to mine. But there still are some, like I said, flux and stuff. And then once you apply some overclocks and things like that, things run a lot smoother and there's not so much power consumption. A lot of my rigs are maybe pulling like 350 to 420 watts each. So nothing too crazy. And I have them all like filled up. I have seven, eight cards on some. These ones I just have like five, but still they're all eight gigabyte and they're AMD, so a little more heavy. But once you do some flashing to the BIOS, and once you go ahead and do some overclocks, you're usually pretty good. If you guys want, I can also do a tutorial on flashing the BIOS on AMD cards. I'm not too sure about NVIDIA. I kind of have to look into that. I don't even know if it's a possible thing. But so far, I've just been flashing BIOS on the AMD cards because that's always been a thing. But yeah, we'll jump over to my um, Hive OS here on my computer. And I'll kind of go, go over everything on like the visual stats so you guys can see and break it down. Alrighty, so now we're over on my PC here and we're going to take a look at my Hive OS so you guys can see like the full breakdown of all my rigs and what I'm running, the cost and everything. So as you see here, I got four workers and I have about 22 GPUs. It says I have about six offline because I have a few others that are kind of just not working right now, so I have to get them fixed. I'm using about 1,494 kilowatts, so not that bad for the amount of GPUs and rigs I have going. Like I said, I'm mining Zealous and Flux. There's a total kilohash and souls a second for each one. And then right now, currently it's costing me only about 37 cents a day to run the actual rigs on Hive OS because they updated their terms and everything. So now you have to pay when you have like, I think it's two or more rigs or something like that. But as we click into it here, you can see my full breakdown. I just kind of gave them a reboot today because I had them up for like a few months now at this point. But we'll go into my first one here, and this is my 4 gigabyte rig with one 8 gigabyte card, but this is all my AMD ones. It's running on flux, like I mentioned. This one is only taking about 362 watts. The temperatures are fairly good, as you see. 57 degrees is about my highest temp on the one card, just because the one fan is broken. But then the other ones are fairly low temperature, because I do have the overclocks done on them. And then I also modified like the firmware on the actual cards, at least the 470s and such. Um, and same with the 580 and 570. So they are able to use a little less wattage and are running a lot cooler than your average card. If we go back here, uh, next one is one of my NVIDIA rigs. This is the open air rig of the NVIDIA one that I showed you. It has a 1660 and then all the P106 100s as you see here. Highest temp is about the 1660 just because it does run at a higher uh, power limit at about 52 degrees temperature. The other ones are fairly low, about 40, about 50 and below. So 
It stays fairly cool. Like I said, it's a whole open airflow. Everything does run really well out there. I suggest kind of doing that. Most people like usually have the fan blowing off of them and pushing the uh, hot air out. But if you have a big open room like that with only a few rigs going like I do, you're able to kind of bring the cold air in and it keeps things a lot cooler in my opinion. I've tested both ways. But as we see here, the total wattage is about 372 watts. So nothing substantial there. And that's running on the Zealous as you see here. The next one is another AMD one on Flux, and these are my 8GB 580 rig with the RGB lights there. And as you see, the highest temp is about 45 degrees, so nothing too serious. I like to keep them a lot cooler. I know a lot of people like run them a little higher, have a more throttle, but I like to limit my power consumption, obviously being in an apartment. I want to try to run as many rigs as I can at lower power compared to running like just a couple rigs at high power. That's just me. I like to keep things cool. It helps keep uh, the cards running longer and lasting longer instead of just overheating them. And then, like I said, this one is on Flux here. And this is my other 8 gigabyte uh, AMD rig that I showed you there. And then the last one is the big case rig here. And that is running Zealous here. And I don't know if one of the cards are down because I usually get a little more uh, kilohash. So there could be an issue with one of the cards. Like I said, I just kind of did a reboot here. But as you see, they're P106100s. This one's only taking about 306 watts with the overclocks I do have. Like I said, I think it's down a card. I'll have to check that out like myself there. But as you see, the highest temp is about 45 degrees. Obviously, being in a case, a mining case, it runs a lot cooler just because it has the ASIC fans in there and everything as I showed you in the uh, beginning of the video there. But yeah, overall, like I don't have a huge farm or huge rig or anything like that, but I am slowly building and accumulating. I do have my L3s, uh, my Ant Miner L3 Pluses. I do run from time to time just because I'm trying to, you know, balance out all my hydro usage and stuff because I still do run like gaming consoles, computers, and other things of my personal use. So I like to keep things uh, evened out pretty well. But we'll go take a look here at uh, the Zealous pool that I'm using. I'm using Viper.net and I'm able to have it running in the Canadian dollar because I am obviously in Canada here. But as we see, I've been running it. Uh, Zealous is about $6.53. I believe that's the price of it for uh, Canadian form at least. And as we see, I make about $1.44 Canadian. Nothing too crazy, but it's just with the two rigs running on it. I haven't had too much luck running AMD with Zealous yet, but I want to kind of take a deep dive into that and try to run it myself. And then what I use for my flux pool here, let me just double check. I use fluxpool.net here, so we'll quickly go over to that fluxpool.net and we'll pull that up here. This is a solid pool for flux because you also get bonus rewards because you get, as we see here, uh, it's parallel mining. So with flux, you get parallel mining. So it mines like flux to ergo, um, Solana, all these other ones, and you're able to get some bonus rewards. It's just not showing it right now for some reason. But I did have it up and going. I don't know if you need a certain amount of power running on it. But when I was running like every single one of my rigs on it, I was getting about once a week, I was getting a bonus like 15 or so flux, which is pretty good for not doing anything. And that's just bonus on top of what you mine. So it's a pretty good deal when using uh, fluxpools.net here and then viper.net for the zealous pool. I have had no issue with them. I find they're more stable pool for zealous. But yeah, overall... Like I said, I'm just kind of running Flux and Zealous for now. I haven't really been trying any like brand new coins or anything. A lot of the mining coins that have been released have kind of just been pump and dumps or scams. I'm kind of sticking to the reliable ones. I was mining through Nice Hash before, but now they require KYC, at least in Canada and stateside. So it kind of just ruins the purpose of mining. I'm not against KYC, but personally, just for mining, I like to stay away from that because at the end of the day, crypto should just be able... Uh, to be mined by anyone and open to anyone I shouldn't have to like give them my identity essentially to be able to mine but yeah I just wanted to do a quick overview and catch you guys up on where I'm at and what I'm mining I will be posting some fresh tutorials like I said I'm probably going to go through uh, my channel here and look at all the comments and see what needs an update when it comes to my tutorials I've done in the past because a few people say some of my videos aren't working anymore some of the pools aren't working so I kind of just want to go through and see where I'm at there but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of where everything's at with my uh, 
rigs and my setup. Like I said, I've still been mining. I've still been going at it, buying more cards, buying A6, selling A6, bringing in other things. Like I want to get to the point where I can kind of have like a small warehouse essentially or small office worth of mining rigs. But well, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content and at least learning something from it. Like I said, more tutorials will come. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.